Wearing masks when using public transport and taxis is now mandatory in Korea. Here's how the public complied with the new measure on the first day of its implementation. Commuters wearing protective masks stand in line at a bus stop in Seoul. 아무래도 네, 밀폐된 공간에 네. 사람들이 많이 있으니까 아. 그 대중교통 때는 꼭 해야 될것 같아서. 아. Wearing face masks when using buses or taxis is now mandatory nationwide. A written notice on the bus says all passengers are required to wear masks. Most of them comply with the rule. Bus and taxi drivers feel relieved. Before the new rule took effect, there was nothing they could do to make non-compliant passengers put on masks. They were even fined for refusing passengers. But now they can do it legally. On the first day of the mask wearing rule, most public transport users made sure to wear masks, but some forgot to do so. They were either reminded to put on their masks by public officials or receive masks from bus drivers who make sure to stockpile on extra masks just in case. Starting Wednesday, wearing masks became mandatory on planes as well. Prime Minister Tong se said at today's governmental COVID-19 countermeasures meeting that 40% of the new infections in the past three weeks were in their 20s and silent spreads through the young people must be stopped. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Korea's gross domestic product in 2019 recorded approximately $1.64 trillion, falling two notches to 10th place among 38 OECD member nations and major emerging economies. The Bank of Korea announced today that business sentiment has improved based on this month's business survey index of 53 points, a two-point increase from a month ago and a first uptick in five months as Korean households started spending their emergency disaster funds. The government instructed everyday distancing measures for beaches during the summer months to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Beachgoers are asked not to visit the beaches in groups and to set up parasols at least two metres apart.